So hello, welcome back to you, my these coins and banknotes, and today we are looking at 20 cent coin from 1974. So I have quite a few here, now I'm not too sure why, but it just seems 1974, uh, where I am, I actually got a few. Uh, 1973, 72, I find it hard to get in high grade, but these ones are just collected over the last few years so it seems like people do keep these and then over time when they find they can't get rid of them or they find out the actual value they actually uh, get rid of the coin so on this side we have the higher grade coins on this side we've got the lower grade so these are probably very fine and lower these are extremely fine and higher so uh this is coin food issued in 1966 it's 11.31 grams of copper and nickel that's 75 percent copper 25 percent nickel and the diameter which is if you don't know what diameter means it means uh you go straight through the coin so you cut it in half and that's the length and that is 28.52 grams okay so this side is was designed by Stuart Devlin, this side Arnold Mackin, so the, oh sorry, this is a side Stuart Devlin, this side Arnold Mackin, sorry I was looking at something else at the time, and the Arnold Mackin effigy was first used in Rhodesia in 1970, no 64, 1964, so uh, they were the first country to actually use it, and 1974 was the uh, last year of high prices for the 20 cent coin. So the Kellogg B for 1974 is $25. So I'd say probably $12 is a good price for an uncirculated coin. Rolls, 240 So probably about 100 150 in between that. In the 1975, the price of these coins uh, dropped to $8. So about 4 bucks And... I'm not too sure exactly why, because in 1974 there were 25,498 uncirculated coin sets. In 1975 there was only uh, 30,121 uncirculated coin sets. If you issue price of two dollars, but even uncirculated coin sets uh, go for 120 for this year, and about 65 for the next year. So that's a bit curious. Doesn't seem to have been too much of a difference in the actual issuance. And the 1973 had the same, well actually a lot more. 1972, but the value is actually quite a lot higher. As well as the 1970. So that, that's really just a an emotional thing that people have. Okay. Then you got proof sets. Uh, 1974, there was 11,103 proof sets. They, they probably cost about 200 bucks, like the catalog V does say. You should price 11 bucks. Okay, so uh, before, okay, 1975, they seem to double the proof sets, and then they increased them afterwards. So. 1974 and beforehand, proof sets are actually in low, num low numbers. So that is, that would account for why proof sets are actually high. 10,000 is not really a lot. And then in the next few years, if you jump it up to like 50,000, obviously it's going to flood the market and we also reduce the price of those coins because they're just a lot easier to get. Okay, so now we get into the good stuff. So we have... $500 for a split planchet and that's an error coin today okay there you go that's definitely a split planchet so yeah I'm not going to argue with that price uh, now I don't know what this one is hmm maybe they're talking about the claw Okay, it looks like 
it's missing the claw, so about three and a half. So that's probably what they're talking about. Uh, then we have whatever, uh, what a great coin, 200 bucks. Really, you're gonna pay 200 bucks for something like that. Hey, you got the mint roll, 400 bucks. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Another split planchet. So it looks like they had a problem with the planchets of that year. Okay, you got a proof that's been graded. So, once again, people get the proof coin and also uncirculated ones, split them up, grade them because you can get a high value. Okay, here we have one from a mint set. It's probably a bit high for me. Uh, yeah, and then you got higher coins. So these are probably a bit more expensive. Okay. Okay, now we're getting into it. So, uncirculated coin. Uh, yeah, $17. Yeah, that's okay. Another one for $6. It's probably has slightly circulated. $11. So you'd be... Uncirculated coin, you're probably paying, yeah, $10, and then you've got high-grade coins, so that's what we are looking at here, but we're only talking about one or two dollars of those, this one's from a set, 28 bucks, obviously well-circulated, proof coin, uh, so the prices are all over the place, but really, you're talking about one or two dollars. Oh, this one four dollars. So one to three dollars for a circulated one. Probably about ten dollars for uh, okay split plant shirt. Uh, yeah, about ten dollars for an uns a high grade coin. Then you got one some sets. You're talking about twenty dollars or so. And then you got errors. So errors are a whole different ball game altogether. And look at that, really, that shouldn't go for that price, it's just really not worth it, even though the date, okay, then you're looking for errors, so here's another wavy 1966, but that's not the topic of this video. So, you need to also look for varieties in these coins, 